What's up all you dad hustlers out there? This is Will Crown. I hope you can hear me. Uh, this is episode number 15 of Dad Hustle. In Texas right now, as many of you guys know, I've been on set all week. And it's actually worked out great because I've gotten to hang out with my baby brother over here. This is Mr. Benjamin. That's right. He actually lives, well, not in Dallas, but Houston. 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 But his, he works for American Airlines and his um, hub is the Dallas hub. That's right. So we've gotten to see each other, which is kind of cool since I'm normally in LA. DFW for life. That's not true, but here I am. And so, you know, when you're in Texas, you got to hit up a, a little, little DQ, DQ, you know, <laughs> DQ, you know what I'm saying? But this guy's not actually a dad hustler yet. He's a pre-dad hustler, which means that I wouldn't be surprised if someday this guy has kids because he'd be an amazing dad. He's actually... I'm an uncle hustler. I was going to say he's my kid's favorite uncle because he works super hard for that title. But my other brother would get kind of ticked off if I said that. It's still right. Myself and my siblings actually grew up in a boys' home in Pennsylvania. Nah, not just boys, boys and girls. Start off as a boys' orphanage, right. 1909. Uh, I was 11 years old at the time when I was separated from my mom. And how old were you, baby bro? I was like six years old. Six years old, yeah. dang. Just a run. So, you know, this is dad hustle. We stress the importance of fatherhood. And as a six year old kid, what was that like being separated from your mom? I mean, our dad already split. Dad split when I was about three years old. Separated from mom was rough. Mom was pretty awesome, I think. We went to the school and I was in the home with, I think we had 16 other boys initially. Was there that many? It was, that was a we big had a lot. home. Yeah, we had a lot. First it was hard, but I had this guy already, even at the young age of 11, he was trying to step up and be that father role and take care of it. He, he had some lessons to learn. <laughs> I did. I was a good big brother. Yes, he was. Slapped him around a little bit, kept him in line. That's what big brother's supposed to do. And here's the deal. When my dad left, when I was seven years old, he got down on one knee and he said, you're the man of the house now. You're in charge. Keep everybody in line. So I took that on. I took a, a role that no kid should have. If your marriage isn't working out and you're going your separate ways, never tell your kids that they need to step up and be the man of the house or woman of the house or whatever the case is. That's just not right because it took away a good chunk of my childhood. It's funny, maybe that's why I'm such a goofy kid now, because I didn't get to be that way from about the age of seven or eight on and started and I, paying bills. I don't think he and I had the relationship as children that we have now. We, no, we, we were didn't. nowhere near as close. Even though I was immature myself, I was trying to fill that role, so I was seeing myself as like a father type figure. And it was, it's not healthy for anybody to put themselves in those shoes. And uh, although I think it might have helped in him some, but it hurt our relationship at the time. Thankfully, now we have a much better relationship. Now we're much better, yeah. But I still slap him around. <laughs> I'm just going to say. I mean, he gets out of line and... I tell him what's what's what. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> tell them how I used to, uh, when you and, and our other little brother, Tim, what did I do with you guys when you were getting into it with each other? So he would take our two heads, they're little guys compared to him, and just smack our heads together. It was the fairest thing I could think to do. That, that was his logical sense. Let's give my brothers brain damage. It, hey, hey, it worked out all right. I mean, this guy's... Yeah, twitch. Twitch. <laughs> this guy is very successful today. You know, he's, uh, as I said, working for American Airlines, but really pursuing his passion. The man loves to travel. He is passionate about helping people. Can't stay in one place. I love it. He's always been like that. I call him a gypsy, actually, but... Yeah, it is. It's not untrue. So, six years old, you go to the school, you got no parents there, but you had a set of house parents. Like, but was there any one or a couple that actually stepped into that like father male role model figure in your life or ever at any point? I mean, point? there were several. I mean, I remember my first, very first day at that school, Mr. Whitman was the principal. And uh, Sir Whitman's awesome. He was a great guy. He remembered me for years after that. And I bet he still does. I bet he does. And the first thing he did was give me a stuffed animal and let me know that I'm safe and he's going to take care of me. Are you serious? Yeah. It was a little stuffed that. monkey. That's awesome. Probably because so, you have monkey-esque features. Yeah, I, I look a bit like a monkey. He's got my wife's humor. Love yeah. you, babe. <laughs> and his kids have my humor. Yeah, sadly. We, we tease my son because he acts like Uncle Ben. Okay. So, some of the strongest ones, Mr. Hughes absolutely was... A guiding, he, yeah. if I got Good in man. trouble, he would let me say my piece. It didn't get me out of any trouble, but he would let me talk to him. He would hear me out. We would actually discuss things. It's important. It, it was. Interesting point. You said that when you get in trouble, he would let you say your piece. Do you think that's yeah. maybe like a, a key point? Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah. you got to be able to hear and listen to other people. Let them have their word. 
especially when you're dealing with kids, you know, with my kids, my kids are um, 11 and 12, almost 11 and 13. And when they do have those moments, they're both preteens. My son's going to be a teenager very soon. You know, sometimes you just want to be like, no, oh, it's my way or the highway. Get it right. You're wrong. But I have to consciously take a moment, step back and say, OK, let me hear from you. What's your perspective on this? It's not going to change anything most of the time. But I want you to know that what you're saying to me does matter. It it's makes a valid. difference. It's valid. Exactly. I validate it. And then I smack him across the back of the head. Just kidding. Sometimes. Hey, if it's due, it's due. If it's due, it's due. Okay? We got a lot of that as kids, didn't we? Uh, absolutely. Especially you. Absolutely. <laughs> Tim didn't get nearly as much because I think once mom saw him cower in fear after I got my spanking, he was pretty much safe. Yeah, it's too bad we don't have him here. We could do like a, yeah. like a I don't want to say threesome. Three-man team. Okay, we'll that's call better. three-man team. Yeah, that's better. He's uh, a good dad hustler. He is. Our, our baby brother is an amazing father. He's got two little princesses and he's a stay-at-home dad. He's also a, an amazing artist. He's just, he is. He's I, just I rocking his it. word. I do too. He's rocking and doing great things. So. Link to that below. There you go. I like that. Got it? I'm learning. You, We're all you learning. Telling wise one. Can you imagine a, a younger brother being condescending? So crazy. Can you believe that? <laughs> That never happens. Yeah, so we're 15 episodes in, only 1,500 more to go. Super appreciative of all you guys. Listen, today was a quick episode, but I want you to go ahead and subscribe. We've had lots of great content so far. Ding, We've got ding, done. lots more great stuff coming up. So please make sure that you not only subscribe, but you share this with anyone else that you know that's either a dad or a pre-dad, a dad hustler, somebody that's getting after it, somebody that just wants to be encouraged. As always, my name is Will Crown, and I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle. Mm -hmm. so we got people staring at us. <laughs> Little Bill and Ted action. That's totally Bill and Ted. <laughs>